This is a short video on uh, what a Hausdorff space is. So Hausdorff space. It's named after mathematician Felix Hausdorff. Um, you could look him up if you're interested. But uh, again, let me kind of start from maybe you've seen this idea before in a metric space, and then we will try to generalize this. So I'll call it say xd. Again, I've got an idea how to measure distances. And then I'll try to generalize this to the more general setting of just a topological space. So xt. And just to emphasize again, yes, a metric space is a type of topological space, but there's too much structure there. It makes it too nice. And so how do I take some of that structure away? And how can I still talk about some of these concepts? What comes along with it if I take this distance structure away? That's what I want to do. So on the left side here, <clears throat> if we've got a way to talk about distances, say, then uh, what's Hausdorff mean in this setting? And so um, what should we be able to do? So how about uh, given, say, any two points, say, x and y that live in x, uh, we should be able to find some real number epsilon and some other real number delta so that the ball uh, around x of radius epsilon um, intersects the ball of uh, radius delta around y, that uh, this is empty. So what does that mean? Saying that these two things are disjoint. So these sets are disjoint. That's what it means for their intersection to be the empty set. So we're disjoint in case you haven't heard that before. So these sets are disjoint. And that means empty intersection. But uh, what's the concept of being Hausdorff here? What's kind of the underlying thing that's going on? The underlying thing that's going on is we're saying that we should be able to separate these two points x and y. We should be able to find a window around each point where those windows don't overlap at all. And that's pretty believable in a metric space. And so again, I'll draw the plane because it's, it's a good metric space if you have like the usual you know distance say. But I'm saying here's a point called x. And here's a point, call it y here. I think it's pretty believable that like I could find some real number so that that window there, uh, that thing's radius is epsilon say, you know, I could find another radius small enough just to make sure that these two things are disjoint, that they don't overlap at all. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this idea that uses again, open balls in a metric space. We wanna take that intuition that these open balls give us and we want to generalize these things to what's going on in a topological space? What if I've got a bunch of, you know, perhaps weird things that I'm calling open? What's this idea of Hausdorff? And so uh, in this case then, I'll write, so given x, y, and x, um, uh, what do I wanna say here? Um, given x, y, and x um, that are distinct, I probably should have said that before too. I just mean it'd be silly if x was equal to y. So given two different points in your set or in your space. Um, so then, so what do we wanna do? What do we do in the metric space setting? We found two disjoint open balls. What do we wanna do here? We just want to look in our topology and see are there two disjoint open sets? So that's really all we'll say. So then uh, say x is Hausdorff, if there exists just joint sets U and V that are elements of your topology such that, let's say X is in U and Y is in V. And that's all I want to have happen. So again, these things are disjoint, meaning these two sets don't have any overlap and U contains one point and Y contains the other point. So if those two sets don't have overlap, again, we're saying that, uh, that we've separated X and Y somehow. So not all topological spaces have this property, but nice ones do. And so the nice ones that do have this property is, are called Hausdorff again. So Hausdorff is the buzzword. And then maybe it makes more sense to look this way now. If this is kind of the general thing that's going on, then maybe you can kind of see this way. Oh, what are good U and V that you could take? You could pick one here around, uh, you know you could find some real number, number epsilon around this thing x, so like this would be your u in my general definition over here, and uh, this other open ball here would be like an example of your v. 
so that that makes sense what's going on um, in a house dwarf space. You can just separate two points by open sets.